Hey guys, it's me, Echo Craft. So, I'm gonna do an unboxing video, um, but it's gonna be kind of a surprise. So, uh, yeah, let's get to it. Alrighty then, so here we are in my kitchen because I can't unbox it anywhere else. I yet again, oh hi Echo Casters and uh, fellow Echo synth players. Um, I purchased something else. I, I know, I can't help myself. Uh, I just keep purchasing things and it's definitely an addiction and gas is definitely real and um, yeah. So anyway, I purchased something from Sweetwater. I watched a bunch of reviews on this. It's very interesting. It's new. It's a new technology. Um, and I think it's going to change things. The way we write music, the way we score music. However, I'm still not convinced. So, with that being said, Let's unbox. And again, sweet water candy. They're really getting scrimpy on the candy. Hmm, interesting. All right. And a big thank you for sweet water, and of course, a sweet water sticker, which I have thousands of. All right, so here it is. This is the Osmos by Expressive E. And then right here on top, oh cool. Uh, apparently this must be the warranty card and the manual. So Osmos by Expressive E manual. And what do we have here? We have, uh, this is a USB-A style. Uh, oh, it's braided, very nice. And we have all different types of connectors. Of course, I'm going to be using the one from the United States. And let's see how I can get this out of here without breaking anything. Okay, so here it is. Uh, I got to tell you, it's, it's, it's got some weight to it. It's all plastic. And it's a very interesting piece of kit. I'm going to turn it around so you can actually see it. Um, yeah, it's got some nice little, oh, little pitch wheel here and then a modulation wheel. Again, it seems pretty solid um, and there's the press field that they were all talking about. You go down halfway and then when you push, you can actually feel the key. I must say it looks really nice on my countertop here. <laughs> I'm actually going to zoom in a little and just show you how you can see it's a halfway point here and then you press. So it is very, uh, I can tell it's very expressive and then you can feel the wiggle. Like that's unbelievable. Um, it almost feels like it shouldn't do that, like it's broken or something. But And then you have these top keys up here and I've seen people in their demos, you know, do that kind of thing and they actually... Um, get sound out of it. Um, and here's the, the, uh, the whole menu and everything, uh, the whole uh, display that's really nice from what I understand. So yeah, um, and we got two pedal ports, uh, master output stereo and mono. Uh, we've got our DCN uh, USB jack and then two MIDI ports in and out. Um, and a lock uh, over here, Kensington lock style. Um, and I guess these are the buttons, which are also knobs, and they're very nice. Very nice feel. Yeah. So, and the Harkin Audio uh, engine is in here, um, so which is very cool. Again, I've heard demos of it. I don't, there's only a couple of people out there that actually uh, did some great demos. I'm actually going to pull back again. Yeah, so... Um, this is uh, 
what I've been what I've been seeing is people haven't been doing a whole lot with it. Just it, they've been doing like this really ambient stuff and very mellow, and, and it's all it's all good. I'm not ragging on anybody or saying anything bad about anybody's demos. There are a few people that did some demos out there that I really liked that they incorporated this into their uh, their studio, and you heard other instruments and drum machines and things like that, which I preferred because I want to see how this fits into the mix. So some people have said that they they actually. Uh, have had some issues playing it because it's a learning curve. I believe that might be true, but I'm not sure. So, you know, don't take my word for it um, until I actually hook it up and play it. Uh, I'm gonna hook this baby up and we're gonna do some demo work and incorporate it into a mix and see what happens. I'm not gonna go through all the sounds. Um, I know there are people that are showing off all the sounds and that's fine. Uh, I'm going to pick some sounds that I like and I'm going to put it into uh, a piece of music and see what happens. Um, I know <clears throat> uh, one of the things about the menu, um, I guess you can menu dive a little bit and get into some of the parameters. Um, from what I understand, there's no ADSR. Uh, that's all done through the software, um, but there are some other functions that you can mess with. There are some parameters and effects that you can mess with and create your own patches that way uh, through the device and not actually through the um, software because I heard the software is quite the conundrum to get into and I really hate deep programming and not a big fan of it. Um, that's why I have a lot of analog sense where I can actually create my own patches. Um, and I will give shout out to Korg because Korg actually came up with some great editors for their their uh, mod wave and the wave state and the uh, OP6 uh, and, they, and also the software versions of those. But yeah, I guess this is also um, capable of connecting to your DAW or any other software synth that you have. And I guess if there is a polyphonic aftertouch on those uh, softwares that you're able to use that as well. Uh, to get that 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 bendy feeling and uh, the wiggle and stuff, so uh, it's very interesting. I, I feel awkward doing this actually, even though when you play a keyboard, if you play keyboards, you will know that um, sometimes you want to vibrate on a key and nothing happens. Um, <laughs> um, but in your head, that's you think it's happening. So this should be a lot of fun. I'm going to give an honest review of it. I purchased this with my own money, so nobody sent it to me, um, and I'm gonna be honest about it. And if I don't like it, I'll send it back. But from what I understand, um, you know, Marshall Arnold, uh, on his channel, he got it, and I'm, I'm, I'm friends with Marshall, and I asked him what he thought about it, and he said, dude, it's gonna change the way you play and compose. Um, and a lot of people are saying that. But there's a lot of people who are poo-pooing it as well, saying that it is, a joke, uh, a waste of time, um, but you know, haters are gonna hate. Hopefully, I won't be one of those people. Um, and I do give honest reviews on things. Most of the stuff that I have reviewed, I kept. Um, so it's very rare that uh, I send something back because I think it's garbage or a gimmick. Or this to me isn't a gimmick. This to me is something that was very, very well thought out and. Uh, very professionally put together and it's beautiful. I mean, it's a beautiful piece of equipment. I love this key thing at the top here instead of hiding it with a piece of plastic because you can play this up here. Um, so yeah, so with further, without further ado, let's, uh, let's get this hooked up and check it out.
All right, guys. I'm blown away by this. This is amazing. Um, I don't know what to say. The most expressive thing I've ever played besides my guitars. Yeah, I mean, my key to keyboard, some of them have aftertouch, um, which is great, but this thing is crazy. Being able to bend notes, being able to to wiggle the note and, and get that vibrato, um, I'm blown away, I really am. I, I'm glad I bought it. It's a lot of fun. Um, I intend to do a lot more ambient stuff with it. That was just a quick thing I threw together um, just to see how it would fit in the mix with other instruments. And the patch that I used on that uh, was called Cosmic Blues because I just figured it was kind of like a blues riff. I figured I'd throw it in there. And uh, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm having a lot of fun with it. I'm looking behind me because my blinds are falling down. Um, they're just paper, they're temporary. Uh, not that anybody cares about that. But anyway, um, <laughs> unbelievable Osmos Expressive E. They make cool stuff. Uh, again, feeling the keyboard bed and then playing another keyboard is really weird um, because after you play this, it's almost hard to go back to playing a regular keyboard because of the feeling of it. Um, I can't, I don't know, it's just weird. Um, I apologize for the studio. The studio's in kind of a, a mess right now. I'm kind of rearranging things again. Um, but yeah, you guys, if you can, Go to a store if they have one, check it out. I know around here there wasn't, uh, a, you know, Guitar Center or any of those stores had one for me to check out. So I had to purchase it from Sweetwater. Uh, my, my guy, Greg uh, O'Keefe, he actually hooked me up. Um, so yeah, check it out. Uh, Expressive E, awesome. Thank you so much. And um, I'm just blown away. I really am. This is uh, a lot of people dissed it, and a lot of people said it's stupid, and it's uh, it's not. It's definitely an interesting keyboard, um, and I'm going to do a lot of cool stuff with it. So stay creative, and uh, I hope everybody has a great day, night, wherever you are. And um, yeah, peace. <laughs>